And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Ryan Metzler. Hey everyone, it's Ryan Metzler here again, and today we're going to take a look at somewhat of a party slash trivia game. We're going to take a look at the Logo Board Game by Spin Master. Now this is a game for two to six players, uh, and it's all about consumerism. As you can probably tell from looking at this box, knowledge of products and knowledge of product logos is going to give you a huge advantage. Uh, you're simply trying to answer more questions than your opponents before uh, they get to the center of the board in order to win the game, with a little bit of luck and randomness in there. Uh, uh, so real quick, why don't we take a look at what you get inside this box and how the luck plays into it a little bit. Uh, we'll look at how the game plays, and then we'll come back here and get my final opinion. So here you can see the components for the logo board game. Uh, the winning zone in the center, a track of colors around in a spiral, and then some playing pieces and some cards. Now, the game's pretty simple, it's pretty much a trivia game, and in each turn, one person is going to be the person who reads the questions, and they're going to draw a card from the box. There are three different types of cards. There are potlucks, there are cards with images on them, which uh, basically have a brand name on it, like uh, Net Nature Valley here. And then there are some that are kind of category based. They'll give you a category and all of the questions are based on that category. But each card is going to have four questions on it, one in each color, purple, green, yellow, and red. And you're gonna start asking the person to your left the first question. So for example, you would say, name the collectible ceramic brand of figurines that originated via the artwork of a German nun. Uh, and so you would, if you answered that question properly, uh, the answer is Hummel, I didn't know that, but if I did, let's say I'm red, I would answer it and I would go to purple because that is the color of the question. Now, if you were to get the purple question right, you would go on and you'd get asked the green question by whoever the leader of the round is. Uh, if you got that right, you would move to the green space. And let's say maybe they asked you the yellow question, but you got it wrong. So the question is, what product did Olympic skier Susie Chaffee promote in famous TV commercials? Maybe you don't know. Uh, Red misses the question, and now it goes to the next player who gets a chance at that same question, and maybe Orange knows it. They know that it's chapstick. They jump straight to yellow because it's a yellow question. Uh, and they would get the red question from the card, so you'd continue on. They'd read that question, and maybe they get it right. At this point, that card is dead, and the play passes. Uh, the leader would now be the next person in player order, so they would draw a card, and they would start with the person to their left reading the questions. Uh, and basically, you're going to move around this track by answering questions correctly. You may only get one question. You may get multiple questions, depending on how far the question gets around the table. If everyone misses a question, the one that you missed first, it would come back to you with the next color question. So if everyone missed the purple question, you would get the green one after everyone else missed that one. Uh, and your objective is to get all the way to the center before the other players. At that point, you must answer both a yellow and a red in a row in order to win the game. So you have to answer two questions in a row to win in the center. Uh, actually, if you went in on a yellow, you actually just have to answer the red. Uh, so basically, get here and either answer the yellow and red on a card, or if you win in on a yellow, answer the red, and you'll be the winner. And there you have it. That is the logo board game by Spin Master. Now, uh, I have some pros and cons to this game, but the pro and the con are really the same thing. The pro is that this is all knowledge-based. So if you know more than everyone else, you should win the game. Now, that's not entirely true because if you just get the right question in the right color, uh, you can jump ahead because sometimes it's not evenly balanced. A purple may not be close, but a green, uh, you have a green question, you skip past purples and yellows and reds and go way further than you maybe should have for getting a question right. But uh, you're going to do well if you know a lot about consumerism, and that's kind of the downside as well, is it makes me feel a little bit bad about myself for knowing some of these things. I mean, should I know, you know, what brand of suntan lotion did this, that, and the other thing in 1967? Probably not, but if I do, I feel both good and bad for knowing that, that little weird piece of information. Uh, it's a interesting board game, but not one I think I'm going to play very often, not one I think I'm going to keep in my collection, but if you like this type of trivia, definitely go check out the Logo Board Game from Spin Master. Thanks for watching our review today. For more information about board games, as well as the number one board game audio podcast, check out Dicetower.com for reviews, interviews, and more. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. <laughs>